package which when I opened had this really pretty paper confetti inside. Now as soon as I saw this I thought wouldn't this be amazing if we could create an edible version to attach to the side of a cake. So in this week's video I'm showing you how to make this super easy effect using wafer paper that just looks so pretty around the side of the cake. Okay let's get started. The things that you're going to need is first of all I've got some edible wafer paper or it's also known as rice paper. So these are sheets which are around A5 in size and you can see we just have these white sheets and you might have seen me use this wafer paper on the channel before. I've then got some metallic luster dusts. So these are the hot pink and the fairy floss pink by Sweet Sticks. Now you can use any color to color your wafer paper. I'm going to be creating a bit of a pink ombre effect. I've then got a circle punch. So this one is just going to make circles which are around an inch in diameter and you can just pick these punches up from craft stores but I will leave links to all the tools in the description below. I've got some edible glue and some paint brushes, a smaller paint brushes for adding my edible glue and this fluffy brush for adding my colour. Okay so the first thing you want to do is to cut out your circles. So I've got some of those sheets of wafer paper and I'm just going to take my hole punch and just punch out some little circles. Now I have worked out on each A5 sheet I get around 31 circles and for this tutorial I'm going to be covering a 5 inch cake which is around 5 inches in height. So I've worked out that I'm going to need around 7 A5 sheets of my wafer paper paper. So I'm cutting out a few sheets at a time just to speed up the process. Now I'm going to divide the circles into three piles and these will all be coloured in a different colour. So one of the piles I'm going to be keeping white. I'm then going to be using the hot pink on one of the piles and also that fairy floss pink on another. I'm then going to start with some of that hot pink luster dust and just brush this onto the outside of those discs making sure that I do both sides and just knocking off any excess. And as I mentioned before you can use any colour to colour your discs. Now when it comes to colouring your discs you always want to make sure that you're using a dry powder whether it's edible luster dust or even an edible tint which will give you more of a matte effect. The reason for this is if you start adding water or a liquid onto your wafer paper it will start to dissolve and go really sticky. I'm then going to do exactly the same with that lighter pink. Brushing it on making sure that I'm going on both sides. So once all of those are coloured we've got our white ones, we've got our lighter pink ones and also that hot pink. So now we just need to attach them onto the side of our cake. Now I'm starting with a 5 inch cake and this is actually a dummy cake that I've just covered in fondant so that I can show you this technique. I've put this onto a board and also placed it onto my turntable. So I'm going to be starting at the bottom with that dark pink and working my way up to the white at the top. So I'm just going to take a small amount of edible glue and just apply that thinly to the edge and stick that to the front of my cake. Now when I add these onto the cake I want it to look a little bit abstract like all the discs are going in different directions. So for the next one I'm going to take the wafer paper disc and just slightly bend it. Now wafer paper is quite delicate so I don't want to bend it in half. I just want to tease it round just so I get a little curve and I can then place my edible glue just in the center and add this onto the cake. Now for some of those discs I'm going to put them in the front and for some I'm going to tuck them in behind so it just looks like these big confetti discs have been stuck on the side of the cake just attaching at different angles. Now one of the great things about wafer paper is you can just use water. I find that edible glue just makes it stick a little bit faster. Once I've come up around a third I'm going to start adding in some of those lighter pink discs. Just working my way up the cake and to create that ombre effect I'm going to add the white ones at the top. 
Now I really love this technique as it's a great alternative to adding ruffles onto your cake. So it just allows you to add some texture onto the outside but without adding on loads more fondant. So there we've got all of our discs added. Now, because I have been handling those discs with that luster dust, I have got some of the luster dust on my board and on the top of my cake. One product that I love to use to get luster dust off of a cake is these Cakey Wipes by Sweet Stamp. So you can just take the wipes and just rub off any of that luster dust. So here we have this really pretty effect that just looks like your cake is covered in these edible metallic confetti discs. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use this effect on your own cakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to the Cakes by Lens YouTube channel. Now, I will put a list of all the tools that I've used throughout today's video in the description below so you can find find them there along with some other wafer paper videos that you might enjoy. So until next time, bye!